Okay, um, now let's start. Uh, maybe I don't know if it's a good approach, but let's try uh, to first um, set up our like uh, data source. Okay, and in that order, let's just use Spring uh, data source that URL is equal. In our case, going to be JDBC. Uh, my SQL localhost um, so uh, the name of database gonna be uh, sales um, yeah sales info let's just say like okay sales um, yeah sales info gonna be the name of the database um what else we need i know that it's like a common sense uh right now but we have to set up the username Oop, data source that username uh, in my case gonna be root and then we do again with sp spring that data source that password in my case going to be root 2 and we have to specify like um, the driver uh, which in our case in my case okay gonna be uh, my sequel so com um, yes this one uh, com my sequel jdbc uh, driver so and also um, I want to, to tell the spring uh, JPA uh, to automatically uh, create my my uh, my tables okay uh, like uh, um, everything and uh, another thing that I want to tell you guys is very important thing like it's um, the way to say okay let, let's try to to explain here okay let's try to explain first um, here 